Hi, this is Vivin here. I'll take you through some CLC demos today. Uh, first, I'll start with the uh, IACS export importable, which will allow you to uh, export packages from uh, one org and import it to another org and promote it across different orgs, etc. The other part of the demo would be taking you through a, uh, a, a demo which leverage some of these APIs that we use behind the scenes. Uh, to check in and check out directly from uh, from into Git repository. And the first part of the demo, as we said, is going to be exporting packages from both this org to another org, promoting of assets from one, one org to another org. So this is my source org where I'm logged in as uh, myself, and uh, this is my target org, which has, in this case, if you look at the default project here, it's empty. So I'm going to move promote assets from my source org from default into this target org. So the way to do that is I'm, I'm going to export the whole project. So I'm going to export this whole default project. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, it does all dependency analysis. It uh, brings in all the dependent assets and um, does things like uh, license checks and any errors checks, etc. So it creates a package. I can view the contents of the package. Uh, it creates the job over here. It's successful. I download this package. Uh, I can go, this was my package that was um, just exported. I can see the, what the contents of the package are. Um, you can see it's exactly the same as what I see in the Explorer. So there was a default project, a tutorial folder, and then there were uh, four assets. And once I've done that, uh, I'm going to go to my target of which is this one, and here you won't see, you'll see it's not there. Uh, so I'm going to import this by going to this dialog and selecting the zip file that was exported, that was this one. Behind the scenes, the game does slices etc. Et 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 and uh, brings in all the assets. I have the option whether to overwrite the assets or if those assets don't exist, I, I may choose not to overwrite as well. But in this case, these are brand new assets, so I'm going to do a overwrite. I can do a performance test, which does a validation if the import package can be, uh, the export package can be imported. Yes, it can. And then I trigger the import. I can see the import job in my job. And Seven twenty-four. You can see the import is already successful because this is a small package. I can go and verify the contents by going to the default folder, and now I see there is a folder uh, by the name tutorial, including uh, everything, uh, all the four assets that were uh, that were originally exported. So this this part of the demo shows you the export import functionality, which allows you to promote assets from one environment to another. Uh, customers use this today already to uh, export um, or to promote the assets across the different product environment. Uh, and each of these environments has their own access control, so you can uh, limit the access across environments based. For example, in production, only DevOps have uh, ability to promote assets into a production org, whereas developers might have access for both the dev as well as the QA. Um, so uh, what's happening behind the scenes? Let me um, uh, quickly take you through uh, the APIs that are being called behind the scenes to do this. You could simulate exactly the whatever I showed in the UI uh, using the APIs. So, so these are public APIs. So you can see the public API documentation over here. Uh, it's in um, it's in our network drive as well, so you can go to uh, this section called V3 APIs and see export import, click on that, and you can see uh, detailed documentation of how to call this API with uh, proper examples. And there is also the API, you'll find this example also in our API board. So going back to this uh, API, uh, the first step uh, in the process is to look up the API, the grid for the uh, look up the grid for the objects that you want to export. Uh, in this case, um, 
uh, if you want to just export one asset, you can specify the name of the asset and the path, and it will return to the to grid of that uh, object. Or if you want to uh, export the whole project and all its contents, you can just specify the project name and the path, and it will return you the grid. Uh, once you have the grid, you trigger the export by calling API, uh, the export API and passing the grid of the object that you want to export. Uh, behind the scenes, it does all the required permissions, et cetera. Then it returns you a handle, uh, the rest client and handle of the export job ID. And you can use that export job ID to get the status of your uh, export job, as well as you can download the export package. Uh, in this case, the export package is uh, in the format of the zip file. Uh, once you have the zip file, you can extract that and put it inside a Git repo. And also, you can store the zip file in a repository as well. So you can ensure that you know the, the golden bits that were exported were also stored in the repository. Uh, and once you have it in the source control, you can uh, import it back in, uh, into a different environment. Uh, for that, you call the import back. Specify uh, you call the import API uh, and passing the the zip file. Uh, the IACS at this point gives you a uh, again import job handle. You use that handle uh, along with the import to get the uh, to trigger the um, uh, to get the status of the import. And once the import is successful, you can also trigger the publish uh, for uh, for assets which require a publish or a deploy, uh, which is. Um, which what it does is it actually deploys these uh, assets. So um, without further ado, let me take you through the uh, Git utility that we built, which will allow you to, you know, to check in this exported objects into the Git repository. So I have this uh, this is my repo that I'm using. Uh, I have new new repo called ISDS uh, Path Inventory or ISDS which will create a, a new project and then check in the contents of the Git repo. So that repo doesn't exist right now. And uh, the way I do that is uh, using the Git utility. Which, which, uh, so it's a, it's a command line utility which calls exactly the same API with this SQL. So let me take you through that. Uh, it's a very simple one. So I just run the command, command script. So you can see that now this it's already created the whole export package and now it's commit into this uh, repo and I'm going to say check and so it's a, just a message a git commit message and I check in so let's see if it shows up in the view so the git check uh, git check in is successful and let me refresh this repo uh, Hopefully this project should appear here. Yeah, you can see that 11 seconds ago, this particular um, uh, the GitHub uh, repo was updated with a new project. I can go inside this project, um, and what you what you see is the contents of this uh, project would be exactly the same as what you would see uh, here. So in my explorer, I had default and tutorial. So I'm going to go to Explorer. So this is the overall content of the package. So I go to Explore. I can see the default project here. Uh, same as here, default project. Inside default, I should find tutorial one. I see a tutorial one. So inside tutorial one, I should see four assets. So if you see, there are four assets. Here I am going to check. Okay, I have all the four assets. A connection, service connector, and two process, processes. Uh, and I can even inspect the uh, contents of the JSON to see like what all was exported. So this is the metadata file that is associated with every export. And here you go. You can see that all the different objects, the grids, uh, the references, and what it uh, what uh, the, the description, the content type, all that information is also stored. So uh, this way, I was successfully uh, able to uh, generate a project, uh, 
uh, from ICS. And using just the simple command line UTP, which leverages this API to do uh, to check in into Git. Um, you can verify also uh, the contents of the uh, export file. It's exactly the same as what you see in the Git CSV file. There you, that you can see where I have information. This is for human readable format. So if you have non-technical users who want to inspect. Uh, what are the contents of a particular zip file, they can actually go through the CSV and see the object path, the object name, the object types, and the grid for that. If you're a technical audience, they can directly go to this JSON file and inspect uh, the contents of the file. And um, then, uh, then you have the, the set like the Explorer menu, which is exactly what you see. And then there is a default project. Under that, there is a, uh, there is a uh, Tutorial one folder and you will see four contents. And same same contents is replicated uh, inside the git folder. So uh, there you go. The uh, that's the utility which uh, which leverages the API to uh, do source control. So with that, uh, I'm going to uh, stop this.